So today I'm looking at Ubuntu Touch on the OnePlus 6. This is probably the best OnePlus device that I've used so far. And I'm just going to demonstrate some of the features that are working and some of the things that are a little bit strange. So off the bat, we can see that Bluetooth is working. I've attached this Bluetooth keyboard and I'm able to use the functionality as usual. But one thing you'll notice about this device is this notch at the top. It's really annoying and it gets in the way of the indicators. The same with the corners, they're a rounded screen. But Ubuntu Touch is designed for so many devices that this is such a specific thing. Automatic brightness works. So if I cover up the sensor, you'll see that it darkens. The flashlight works as well. Most of these features are quite explanatory, as you can see. Wi-Fi works just perfectly. And if we turn it off, Mobile data does work, but as with other devices, I had to input the APN settings for my network manually. So I had to look it up online to see what was the correct APN setting and then type that in before it would work. but it is fully functional and getting LTE speeds. Wi-Fi can turn back on. Next, the camera. So the rear-facing camera works for photos and video. The front-facing camera is also working. Now some people had mentioned that the gallery had some issues on the OnePlus 6, but on the Devel channel, or the Devil channel, seems to be working just as you would expect. The phone function is working, so is the loudspeaker. And very importantly, the in-call volume does work. SMS is also working. I was able to receive from other people and send back. Now to test location services in the GPS, I'm using UNAV. But this takes a long time for the GPS to connect, so we're going to skip ahead and look at a few other things. So I'm going to set up the hotspot here. and show that it does connect. So using another device, I'm able to connect to the Ubuntu Touch hotspot. Turning off the hotspot and back on sometimes has a few bugs and glitches, but it does work. 
and the Wi-Fi will return usually. So back to the GPS, it's still looking for the connection. So another thing I wanted to point out was this side switch. Normally it will switch the sound profiles, but this doesn't seem to have any effect. So it doesn't switch it from silent mode to vibrate or vice versa. Ah, so there, finally, we are connected and location is showing up correctly in UNAV. Overall, this is a really great device and I could definitely see it being used as a daily driver. The UbiPorts team has really come a long way and there's a lot of functionality on these devices. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your comments below, check out the links and join the community.